Rakhi and I take science for class 6 and 8. What? So we had a lesson on foes. From each group, one member will hit the striker. Start. One member will measure the distance covered. Yes. 14, 14. More than 14. 14 what? 17. Other two will observe. Other one and two will observe and answer my questions. So today we start with a new topic. Force. Huh. So when you said it went forward, what exactly happened? Why did it go forward? Hmm. So when you applied your muscular force, what happened to the striker? The force had traveled to the striker and the striker went Can I say you pushed the striker ahead? Yes. The striker was pushed ahead. To proceed further, let's move out. We have one more activity. So we have this game. You all know how to play tug of war? Anyone who requires clarity in how to play? Can someone help me to uncoil so, this? While I was actually preparing my lesson, my focus was not just preparing the subject matter. It was very important for me to find opportunities to inculcate life skills. It was not just playing and knowing what is forwards, what is pull out push. More important than that, how do you interact with your classmates? How do you collaborate? How do you divide work? How do you strategize and re-strategize if required? So at that time, problem solving, creative thinking, critical thinking, all these things came into the picture. Why did your team win? Because we had equal force. Well, maybe because we did not have more force than so they have applied more force? Okay, so one thing what I'm hearing from here is because you applied more force, you could pull them. So can I say, not just push, force is also pull. In the previous activity we saw, force, when you applied force, you were pushing. But here, when you applied force, you were pulling. Where do you see this push and pull in your daily life? Lift it, then we are in the uh, push. I'm holding this. Am I applying force? No. Are you sure? I'm, I'm not applying force. Uh, just a minute. Yes, Meher? Let Meher complete. So, originally, if I don't apply my force, Meher, what will happen? If I leave it, what will happen? It will fall down. So, why is it falling down? So, it is because of? Pulling, pulling. Pull. Gravity is pushing it downwards or pulling it towards itself towards the floor of the earth. And what am I doing? So, even when just holding it, I am applying force? Sliding across the ground. The ground is Yes, the ground was applying force in which direction? Pull. You applied the force on striker which caused the striker to move forward. But what was the ground doing at that time? Let him finish it. Yes. Back. Hana? So that is friction. So ground was applying force in the opposite direction which caused the striker to stop. Okay. So now let's have a game of carom. So this was force where it was the introduction. They are doing it for the first time. So what exactly is force and what is the effect of force? That was the content area for this lesson. Can I say when we apply force, it makes a stationary body move? Yes. It pushed it back. The other, the other coin pushed it back. Can I say, an object which is moving can be stopped by application of force? Where do you see this in your daily life? Where do you see it in class? Over here, it was not me delivering, it was them experiencing. So they could experience and deduce from what they experience. So I feel there's something which will be long lasting. Because it is something now which they create. Who can 
summarize this for me. Maybe one more point from each for you. Yes. Friction. Effects. Yes. Uh, like some objects can be while applying force, it actually stops them. Ah, uh, for children, it was a lesson with a lot of fun. At times I felt because of the activities, you know, there was so much a fun element, who's winning, who's losing. So at times the focus did shift there. It is very important to bring back focus to the area which was required in the class. That is academics as well as nurturing the life skills.